Okay, to uh, set up the storage so it works correctly, you hit storage and then you want to hit this uh, storage button and then adjust this to be to the 24 bit map. You could also do PNG, I guess, would work. Um, you know, we'll try that. And so, I'll you know, hit the storage and, oops, you know, you gotta be careful not to twist that when you hit the button. There you go, so now it's on PNG, has to be on external, and then uh, you hit menu to get that to go away. And now I'll create a form, oops, there we go. Some squiggly little form. You hit print with the, uh, with the disk in or USB in, and it saves it, okay, and then you can take that out, put it in there, open up our windows, go to here, and there's our PNG file, and it looks about the same as the 24 bit, so I guess the 24 bit and the PNG kind of come out the same. I'll leave it on PNG because um, that's a recognized uh, format. But that's all there is to it. Um, so you can get a bitmap, same sort of thing. Um, you know, so either either way that you want to do it, um, the scope can be set up. But it's important to set it up toward. Uh, set up the scope to ex external, which means it's going to go to the um, USB. So I think that's all there is to it. So once it's set up, you just have to hit the print file with the uh, USB in there and it'll, it'll make it happen. What was happening was it was saving it as a waveform, which is a, a format that's only useful to um, other Riggle products.